Colton might become the measles capital of Ontario, as measles vaccination rates are extremely low across the province, but particularly in Halton, where less than 25% of seven-year-olds have been vaccinated for the measles. That is concerning, to say the least. Now, mind you, there's more to the story, and I'll explain. Now, for that cohort, overall, the vaccination rate is 15%, but specifically, it's around 23% for measles. But when you look at the students who are currently aged 16 or 17, the vaccination rate is closer to 93%, and you want it hovering around 95% for it to be effective. So we don't yet know if this is just a blip because of COVID and some other stuff, or if it's the start of a new trend. But as Doug Ford is saying, the measles vaccine is a no-brainer. So this is not a political thing, at least not in Ontario. Or it shouldn't be. Meanwhile, only 70% of students aged 7 in Ontario are fully vaccinated against the measles, which is making those Halton numbers look particularly concerning, honestly. I want to be optimistic and say that we're going to get back up to this point. Because without mass vaccinations, the vaccinations aren't going to be fully effective. We're still going to see spread, and some people who get vaccinated are still going to get sick because the vaccines are only like 95% effective. So without having most people vaccinated, the vaccines don't work. Whether it's through education campaigns or incentive systems or other enforcement systems in the schools, we need to find ways to get these vaccination rates higher before more children end up in the hospital. 